Express and twenty and free shipping. Free shipping is free amazing. Shipping. But yes. uh, well, we're gonna have to see what kind of shipment is Hendrilis gonna be putting out here. Is it gonna be a win? Is it gonna be a loss? We'll find out. But Complexity Sound Blaster putting their faith here in our uh, Toronto Zerg. Hendrilis is looking good for two zero. Yeah. And over on the other spawn here of Habitation Station, we do have our Lavender Protoss player from Imperative Gaming. It is Elegance. Can't you just say purple like everyone else? That's not purple. Th it's totally purple. There is a purple, and it's not that. <laughs> Pink. Thank you, Warchamp. <laughs> uh, what was... Um, there was another one. Like We were doing the, the Torcraft finals once. Violet. Violet, yeah. yeah. Violet or maroon or something. Yeah. Yeah. Fuchsia? <laughs> yeah, fuchsia. That's, that's <laughs> I, I what we said. I just lost it. It's like, oh, these youngins these days. Elegance with that early probe. Could we see some cannon cheese? Um... It seems like it's just going to be a 9 scout off of a Forge Fast Expand right now, though. It could very well go into the cannon sheets. Though well, what do you need a 9 scout for on a map where your opponent is only in one well, place? Like, what, what else could a Zerg do at this point? He, he's a little worried of cheese from Hengelus, I'd feel. Proxy Hatch. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, proxy Hatch or Ten Pool. Hengelus has done it on occasion. I've never seen him Ten Pool. Yeah. Ever. Uh, it's I always <laughs> been very solid mechanics with Hendra. Same with um, Massa. Like, if he's going to proxy, it's going to be Reapers. If he doesn't proxy, it's still Reapers anyways. I don't know. He did do proxy Marauders. Oh, yeah. He did that once, yeah. and it failed him. Yeah. So we <laughs> never saw it again. Yeah. But, I mean, there's no cheese here from Hendra. He's just going to go straight into that uh, hatch. No fear here from Elegance. Yep. Right now, going to be going for the Nexus first here is Elegance. I'm going to be throwing down his forge later. He did see Hendrilus did go for the hatchery first, and that also helps with the nine scout off of forge fast expand. Yeah, I suppose. Is that that way you know, okay, I can go Nexus first, and I'm going to be perfectly fine. Since this is a much smaller map, if he went pool first, he would have been in a world of hurt if he had not gone ne if he had gone Nexus first. It's not even going to be a forge either. It's going to be the gateways. So yeah, uh, getting up that gateway faster than the forge, we'll just let him get into the cybernetics core. But <laughs> again, the triple base coming out here from Hendrilus, he really does uh, prefer that solid triple setup. Yeah, right now it's. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering of what Hendrilus could go for on this map. Mutalisks, as we saw last game, also very good on this map because very little vertical distance between. Yeah, the two. and especially since there is a giant open uh, gap between the main a bases. Fourth. Oh my! Oh, my. greedy Hendrilus is going. Yeah, very greedy. Um, I feel like a gas-heavy composition could go well with this because he will have the four bases. He'll be able to get a lot of gas pretty that'll, quickly. That would take a while to get set up, though. I mean, we're several it, minutes it will, off, like, eight gas composition. But um, it'll be a lot quicker than if he had just gone for regular fourth base timings, is what I mean. Well, like, I think the fourth right now is actually hidden. Elegance doesn't it know is. about it. It is. Well, no one would expect that you'd get a fourth base that quick on this map. Fifth, Fifth base as well. Hendrilis going five base before. Four pool? What? 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 <laughs> yeah, uh, unfortunately, Master Duck is just a little speechless at this point. Never quite seen a five expand out of it. We don't even, <laughs> we don't even have a spawning pool done. It, it got thrown <laughs> down after the fifth hatch went down. Right now, Hendrilus is going to play so greedy. He is. He saw Elegance played extremely passive. He played. Ex I think so he's going to try to punish that out. Yeah. I mean, right now, this is Elegance's game to win because Hendrilus Tech is just going to be so delayed. But if he can hold through any kind of attacks that Elegance does, if he can hold through any kind of harass and get all yeah. five of those bases, even semi-saturated at this point, not only is he going to have a ton of larva, he's going to have a ton of minerals. As you said, it could be a ton of gas as well. Maybe we're just going to do 50 mutas pop. <laughs> <laughs> But that's yeah. if he holds, and that's it's going to be up holds, to Elegance yeah. here to actually throw out another scout. Like, that 9 scout was great and all. He saw all three bases, but that's when he stopped scouting. Yeah, he hasn't seen the fourth or the fifth. All five hatcheries are up here. He's going to start droning up here, and, you know, we haven't even seen a single Zergling. He really, really expects Elegance to just not do anything for quite a while. So There's no gas, though. There's no gas yet, but that's because he's spending a lot of his minerals into those drones to get up those minerals, so that way he can afford getting all ten extractors if he wanted it. Well, I was looking actually at the worker supplies, and they were fairly even, but it's still like such a, a you know a much bigger intake here uh, from Hendra. You can see yeah. at the top right labeled in, uh, and I was like, I wonder why, because you know they're both the same workers, but well, at this point it was Hendra actually getting much more, and it's because there's zero gas. Yeah. Um. 
Though, even so, like, even if you have the same amount of workers, but each mineral count... <laughs> is he making another spawning pool? No. That's oh, the that's structures. structures. Oh, yeah. thank goodness. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, as I was saying, if you have the same similar uh, worker count, but each worker gets one mineral patch, whereas the other player each... Um, found the fourth. Yeah. Oh. oh, he found the fifth as well. So oh. the gold's actually going to get under attack. These proxy zealots are going to be playing a little bit. And again, this is where Elegance has to try to press that advantage. Yeah. We have you know, very comparable, a, a much smaller army out from Hendrilus. Because yeah. again, no gas. All we can summon forth at this point are spine crawlers. Oh my goodness, is he going to do a march of spine crawlers across the map? That would be hilarious. But you know, right now we do have 24 Zerglings coming out here. Hendrilus, he's going to have to get out as many units as possible. He needs to keep his queens alive. He cannot afford to lose them. This is why and you don't go five hatch, guys. <laughs> yeah, but you know, right now the army supply 35 to 16. Once all those Zerglings come out and collect together, we do see that the Protoss army is slowly gunning, started to get cleaned queen. up here. Yeah, the queen firing away at the back there as well. <laughs> Believe it or not, Pendulous with that larva advantage does defend. Yeah, when you have the five hatcheries, it's not going to be... Uh, too hard to get up a bunch of units if you have the money, well, which he does. Here comes the swarm. It's still only zealots that are at the front. Haven't actually seen a lot of tech coming out from Elegance, but I don't think that this proxy is going to hold. I don't think it will either. No. And you know, right now there are just so many zerglings. These cannons. Oh, are those just pylons or is those that one pylons. a cannon? Unreal. Unreal. He's just done. Wow. Five holds. Andrelis goes on into the semifinals to face Samuel. Both of our Zergs today have won out their matches against their Protoss brethren 2-0. And both of our Zergs again going to be advancing here into the top four. So that leaves us with Samuel, which is a Zerg. Yeah. Hendrilus, which is a Zerg. Yep. Uh, Nubergini, which is a Zerg. And uh, our our Massa, our top tier point collector, our yeah. Terran. So one Terran, three Zerg, and no Protoss. That certainly got thinned out. Yeah. Quick. You know, I, I don't often see five hatches that early, but this Ever? time we did. <laughs> Ever? For the, <laughs> for the first time, five hatch before pool succeeded. That was... He held on to it. He held on to it. I got to <laughs> say, gutsy moves there from yeah. Angelus. But Habitation Station, he really took advantage of that map and just brought it back out. Time supply capped actually was pretty unreal for the, uh, a nine minute game. Three minutes actually supply capped. But I mean, hey, when you yeah. got to get about out five hatcheries, uh, you have a lot of stuff to do. Yeah. Well, that was another best of three. We yeah. here at Torcraft still have two more and then a best of five finals to go. So I want to say that next is going to be a Massa and New Brigini. Yep. And I'm looking for nods, but. Okay, there we go. And Massa and Nubergini is going to be our uh, first uh, semifinal match. It is going to yeah. be a best of three. Everything, I believe, is best of three up to finals. Best yeah, of five? Yeah, finals is best of five. So yeah. typical Torcraft uh, rules yeah. basically apply. I mean, why not? There we go. The brackets are ready to go. So Massa yeah. with the bye is finally going to get his first game in for the day up against Nubergini, who did win out against Endosaur 2-0. Straight after that, we're going to go into our ZVZ, which is, again, cue the Benny Hill music because it's <laughs> always a pleasure to watch yeah. the Toronto Zerks go at it with the Banes. Uh, and then winner of that you know, will be the best of five and crowned yeah. champion here at Anime North 2014. You know, Torcraft, normally we had $200 per cup, but this time we've got 400 So we basically take all of the prizings from previous month comes for the uh, finalists in terms of prize pool. And it looks like actually we're not going to be going to Masa New Beginning. We're going to be going Henry and Samuel. Okay. Well, I mean, that's up to the players, but we're going to let them get set up. We're going to take a short break here, guys. When we do return, I guess it will be our ZVZ first. So yeah. you know, cue those Benny Hill themes, and we'll see you after the break. <laughs> 